Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today I will explain to you the secret tactics that work against any tennis player at any level. So if we're taking a look at the court here, I put four cones on the court. So all those cones represent one spot on the court that you could potentially aim for. Okay, we're not taking into account the middle in this specific scenario. And now in order to figure out what tactics you should use that help you against any player, you have to always ask you the following question. If you're playing a shot, let's say you're starting with a forehand cross court, playing it over there to that cone. The next shot after that is decided by taking a look at all four cones and thinking about which cone is the furthest away from the cone that you just aimed for on the last shot. So if you played that forehand cross court over there, obviously this cone would be the furthest away from that cone. So now you're asking yourself, can I play the ball over there to this cone without a lot of risk? If you can, you should absolutely do so because it will require your opponent to run across the whole court. If you think that it's very difficult for you to, uh, to put the ball over here after playing the ball back there, and this could be due to the fact that your opponent hit a very good shot, or it could just be because you're not in position or you didn't move well or whatever it is. If you cannot play the ball over there, what is the next cone that you could aim for that is far away from the previous cone that can put you into a good position? In this case, that would be this one. Now, the problem is, if you can't play a drop shot over here, it's probably difficult to play a drop shot over here as well. So both of those cones are not a very riskless option for you. So you would then try to th think about playing the ball over to this cone, which again makes your move, opponent move across half a court. If you can play the ball over there safely without risking too much, do so. It doesn't matter, by the way, if you hit it with top spin, with slice, a high ball, a low ball, however you can get the ball there, is fine. Now if you can't get the ball over there without a, a substantial amount of risk either, then you play the ball back to the cone that you just aimed for on the last shot. So like that you have a, a few criteria that help you to make a decision as to what is the most efficient shot that I could possibly hit considering my current level of skill, considering the effectiveness of a shot and considering what kind of shot you're comfortable with. Now on a given day you might be more comfortable with a slice, on another day you might be more comfortable with a topspin ball. The point is that you're making your opponent move no matter which cone you're aiming for because you're trying to make them move as far as possible aiming for the cone that you feel safest with that is far away from the original cone you aimed for before. In conclusion, try to figure out the furthest spot away from your opponent that you can safely reach with a specific type of shot, meaning topspin or slice and aim for that spot so you make your opponent move across as much of a court as possible and make your opponent struggle with setting up for their next shot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.